Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you go Camila and back on another video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're a return subscriber, you've already done that. So in today's video, y'all, I'm gonna do a hygiene video for like when I'm menstrual. Um, I've noticed that my hygiene videos get more views than my vlogs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this video for whoever wants and needs to know. So um, when you're on your menstrual, you're obviously supposed to be sanitary. You don't want to have to smell. So you want to make sure that you're clean. So I'm going to start off with um, the pads that I use. I use pads. I've never been a tampon girl. I don't do that. Um, these right here are my go-to. I need a five or six size right there. Because if you know, you know I'm not going to be inside of that. <laughs> That's too much information. But... Um, if you didn't know, I use these for day and night. I believe these are overnights, are they? No, they're supposed to be. But I like to use overnights um, every day, all day, just because of the fact that, like I say, if you know, you know. Which brings me to our second thing. Where is it? Okay. So I take showers or baths. Sometimes I take a bath and then I take a wash down, take a shower. I use this body wash. I also use the soap bars. But um, I don't have one in the box right now to show you, so I won't show you that. But just know, use a bar soap and a body wash. Or if you're just a one type soap girl, then whatever. But I use the Dove bar and then I go in with the body wash, which makes you smell good and feel better. Um, when I bathe, I use Dr. Teal's. This is the Susan Sleep. Um, I also use the Epsom salt, which is gone. Um, I use that. That was for you. I love the Epsom salt fan. But I use that all. Um, I haven't tried the menstrual one. There is a menstrual one specifically for your menstrual. I never used this. I don't know if it's good or if it isn't. But I'm Dr. Teal's. This one, um, it calms you down and it makes you tired. So once I got to bed with this, I go out to sleep literally. Crazy enough, it doesn't work on my son and it's supposed to work on kids. Um, while I'm in the shower, I also use this scrub. Um, you can use Tree Hut scrub. The raw shea scrub, whatever scrub, but um, you're not supposed to use this in your cat, which I don't like. I do, but I don't like. I use this, I shave, but you're not supposed to use this on your cat. And you know, this doesn't go inside your cat because soap doesn't go inside your cat. Just make sure you wash it. Um, I shouldn't be telling you that because y'all shouldn't have to wash my private with soap, like in the inside, because it will burn you down to the floor. But if you didn't know, you're not supposed to wash it inside your vagina with soap. Just get your lips, y'all, just the lips. So, this smells so good. It's called Exotic Bloom. My other one, it was called Desert Something. This smells like freaking, not laundry, but something I had before. This smells so good, y'all. So every time I get, I'm on my thing, my menstrual. Every time I'm on my menstrual and I take a bath, whatever, I scrub. We're supposed to scrub like three times a week. No more than that because your skin will strip. Which brings me to my next thing. This is, um, what is this? Oh, shaving cream. <laughs> So usually when I'm on menstrual, I shave, um, or sometimes I try to shave before, because when you have hair down there, y'all, it, it traps bacteria for one, and it traps the smell. So if you're smelling something, and you're not really supposed to, that's probably why, because hair definitely um, collects the smell and bacteria down there. So make sure you shave, y'all, because that's very uncomfortable, and it won't smell like anything. And you're not supposed to walk around and keep it nuts in your menstrual, because it's very nasty. I have this. This isn't a part of hygiene, but the self care part of it. I use this. This is a heating pad. You can get it from CVS, Amazon, wherever you choose, really. Um, because this takes your cramps away, literally. I take my trusty Tylenol. Okay? I'm not allowed to take insects, which is like how you cook and stuff like that. I take my Tylenol. Tylenol Rapid Release. I take two five hundred y'all. Put this on me and turn it up to the highest heat it is, which it doesn't show the numbers, but it goes up to like what four, which is the highest. So I turn this on, y'all, get in my covers, and it'll be a wrap most of the time. Um, I oil myself down. This is my, my baby's um, oil, it's a massaging oil, it's supposed to put you to sleep. <laughs> So you use this like after the bath or before nap time, before you go to sleep, whatever. Or you done with that. Just to relax yourself because when you're in menstrual, you're very tense. Like it's it's really hard to be growing off. Like it really is. So you're very tired, have no energy, sluggish. It's just you're over it. So 
But I need most of my period is sleep. So this comes in handy. After I take my showers, I like to put on my trusty granny panties. Mm -hmm. So I wear my granny panties, y'all. I don't wear my cute panties in my menstrual. I don't know who does. Um, because some women are prone to accidents. Like me sometimes. Um, so definitely keep a pair of granny panties. Or a lot, if you're me. <laughs> And then I go in with some spray from Smell Good. This is so shade when I like blue. I got this for Christmas, my stocking stuffer. Um, at night, when I'm on my period, when I'm not, I like to spray myself because it you feel good, you smell good, you, you feel all soft and clean. What better way to lay your sheets, you know? It's the little, little, little smell. And you can use whatever you want. A lot of people prefer to use um, body sprays like at Beth and Body Works and over perfumes, which I don't see the difference. But to each his own. I like to use perfume. So I actually don't even have any body sprays, but maybe I should get some. And last but not least, y'all. Okay. Last but not least, wipes. These are gone. <laughs> As y'all can see, I just used some. These are my baby's wipes, but you can use this type of wipe you want. You can use um the toilet wipes are actually before the toilet. These say do not flush, but they're for adults and kids. It says pH balance, 100% plant with cloth. It's really um, fluffy and soft. It's really for like a rag kind of. It's not thick though, it's thin. Um, these are by Millie Moon. And I feel like you should use these after you poop or even after you pee, mainly after you poop, but some people prefer to use them when they pee or poop. It's because you're a woman and nobody wants to smell pissy. So, um, do the wipe, especially at the time of the month because um, like I said, like I said, y'all, um, it tends to be smelly around the time of the month, and you don't want to have smell. Use wipes with no smell if you're like have sensitive skin, but if not, you can use the type of wipe, wipe you want. Um, I use whatever wipes I could have the time. Millie Moon, um, the regular toilet wipes, love wipes, little wipes my kids have the time for my daughter. So yeah, and then you can't get your snacky acky axe. My stoked matcha. Cheers. Um, I prefer to eat like chocolate and stuff like that. I have turtles all the time. Um, Snickers, Twix, whatever. Really, I don't really want to eat food because my stomach be hurting so bad. But I love to have a snack. Y'all, y'all have a snack. Jerk! Stop! So yeah, I love to have a snack. Y'all know snack tough for our bitchiness around this time. You're very, very bitchy, as we all know. And yeah, sometimes you just want what you want, so. Make sure you have a bucket load of snacks. And that's really it, y'all. Um, unless I'm missing something. Can y'all tell me if I'm missing something? Because I don't know. But the main thing is wash, shave, or wax, whatever you choose to do. Um, granny panties, pads. If you use tampons, that's fine. But those are my main things. Soak in the bath. Um, don't soak in the bath, do whatever you wanna do. But soaking actually helps your cramps. Like if I soak in the bathtub, whether I have those bubbles or not, um, my cramps go down drastically. And I'm a person who has been getting very bad cramps since I started my period in sixth grade. I used to cry because it hurts so bad. Um, after having two kids, it's kinda easier, but Nonetheless, it still hurts. So I still catch myself on the verge of crying. So I still in the bath and it just helps me. It just, it just, it's, it's just so good, y'all. So if you don't do that, add that to your routine. Um, and yeah, so wait, let me show you before I go. This is a robe, y'all, from my new brand it's called Fowell. And I'm going to be dropping like lounge where my first drop is going to be this robe. Let me see if you get into it. Yep, and then, oh yeah. Cause my tripod is broke, my son broke it. So, I have a little old tripod. And then it says it on the back, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's the hearts. So yeah, I'm gonna be releasing this, hopefully for Mother's Day, it's in production right now. I'm gonna be having rows, I'm gonna drop a few days next. I will tell y'all what else though, because people be trying to copy me and I got So just be on the lookout. I'll be dropping my link in my bio as soon as 
Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what else y'all want to see from me, either hygiene wise, vlog wise. Um, I'm still trying to upload my vlog that I edited a month ago, and it will not export. It keeps saying there's like a problem with I don't know. They're telling me to check and see if I have black spots in my video, which I don't. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe I have to just edit the whole thing over again, which I'm gonna be pissed about because I really took my time with this vlog. So this will be out. Hopefully I sound next. If not, I'll catch y'all in my next vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye!